click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends today we will see refraction of light we know when light travel in a homogeneous medium then it travels in a straight line but when it travels from one medium to another medium means when it is entering in another medium it deviates from its original path so this phenomenon is known as refraction of light so let us see briefly what is refraction of light we know in case of refraction we want two mediums so let us consider medium 1 it can be anything like rarer or denser and we have a second medium medium 2 this is also can be anything suppose the first medium is rarer we can say the second medium is denser and if the first medium is denser then we'll see second medium is rarer now this is the plane surface x x y or we can say this is the glass plate now this glass plate is behaving like a medium 2 and light entering suppose from the air that will be medium 1 so here let us draw a normal this is n now the ray of light will incident on the surface of the medium let us say this is pq now part of light will reflect means bouncing back in the same medium part of light will get absorbed by the medium that can be considered here as a refraction because here we are considering a glass plate so we'll say the part of light is reflected and part of light will refract so if i draw the original path this will be the original path of this ray but because of the another medium here we are considering medium is a glass so it is denser as compared to air hence the ray of light will deviate from its original path so here we know whenever we we are considering ray we'll find out the path or the angle with the normal so angle of incident i this ray making angle with normal that will be the angle of incident and the refracted ray is also making angle with the normal that is called as angle of refraction so this is the concept of refraction so here you can observe from this diagram it was the original path of the ray but because of entering in the second medium it is deviate from its original path so we can say this is refracted ray and this one was incident ray let us see what is the definition of refraction light deviate from its original path when it enter from one medium to another medium it's called as refraction now here we have a second medium and this is the first medium light incident from the first medium on the surface of the interface of two medium we can say this is the interface of two medium means above this we have a first medium and then we have a second medium below this okay then this will is normal so we'll write here pq pq is incident ray then we have qr qr is a refracted ray then nm it's a normal to the surface i is angle of incidence and r this one is angle of refraction now let us see briefly 
when ray entering from one medium to another medium there are two possibilities first possibility so we'll consider here first medium we are considering first medium here it's a denser medium of refractive index mu1 for example we can consider here water and second medium is a rarer medium so this is medium 2 we'll consider this is a rarer medium of refractive index mu 2 for example air hence in this case we can say mu1 is greater than mu2 the refractive index of water is greater than refractive index of air now this is a interface or the surface of the two medium now here the ray of light pq will incident on the surface this is normal n now when ray is entering from denser to rarer medium then the refracted ray will move away from the normal means it was the original path of the ray pq but the ray is moving from denser to rarer medium so the ray will move away from the normal so this is the case number one or first possibility so we'll write here when So, we will say when ray of light entering in a rarer medium from a denser medium, then the ray of refracted ray will move away from the normal. So, this is the first possibility. Let us consider second possibility. Again, this is the first surface. We will consider medium 1. Now, medium 1 is a rarer medium. Of refractive index suppose mu2 let us consider rarer medium is air here medium 2 is a denser medium of refractive index mu1 let us consider this medium is a water Now, in this case, ray of light PQ incident on a interface of two medium. Now, this ray is moving from rarer to denser medium. So, in that case, the ray of light will move towards the normal. Means, this is the original path of ray. This is the original path of ray, but it deviates from its original path and it will move towards the normal. This is our normal, so we can say it will move towards the normal, like this. If I continue this, this is the normal, then ray is moving, say ray QR is moving towards the normal. And in this case, this ray QR is moving away from the normal. So, from its original position, it is deviating away from the normal. And in this case, from its original position, it is moving towards the normal. So, in this case, suppose we consider I is an angle of incidence. Then R, this will become R that is angle of refraction. So, we will write here in first case angle of incidence is less than angle of refraction. In second case if we consider this is angle of incidence I and this is angle of refraction R then 
will say angle of incidence I is greater than angle of refraction R. So, these are the two cases. So, let us write down for this. Here we will write when So, when ray of light entering in denser medium from the rarer medium, then it moves towards the normal. So, these are the two possibility. The ray of or we can say the angle of refraction is completely depends on the ray is entering from which medium to which medium. Suppose it is moving from rarer to denser, then the angle of refraction value will reduce. And if it is moving from denser to rarer, then its value will increase. Now, let us see the another concept. If ray travel along the normal, then even after entering in any medium, means from rarer to denser or denser to rarer, it will continue with the same path. So, let us start with this. Consider the medium 1 is rarer. And here medium 2 is denser. So, this is the surface. Just say surface x, x dash and this one is a normal. Now, the ray is entering along the normal. When it is along the normal means angle of incidence is 0. Then, what will be the angle of refraction? This is again 0 because ray will continue with the same path. So, it will enter in second medium with the same path. So, there is no deviation in the second medium. If ray is entering along the normal. Second case we will consider here we have a medium 1 that is denser and medium 2 is rarer. In that case also suppose the incident ray will incident along the normal. This is a normal, so we will say along the normal, then refracted ray will not deviate. It will travel or continue the same path. So, the refracted ray will go to the same path. So, in that case, we can say angle of incident is equal to angle of refraction is equal to 0. Similarly, here also we can write angle of incident is equal to angle of refraction is equal to 0. Why this is angle is 0 not 90 because 90 with the surface but angle of incidence or angle of refraction we always consider with the normal means suppose this is the surface and this one is a normal. So, incident ray is making angle with the normal that is our angle of incidence and the refracted ray making angle with the normal that is angle of refraction. But in this case we have angle of incidence and angle of refraction along the normal means the value of i is equal to 0 as well as value of r is also equal to 0. So, this is the concept of refraction. Let us see laws of refraction. The first law says in refraction, in refraction, the angle of incidence, angle of refraction, and normal to the surface lies in the same plane. This is the first law of refraction. Means, let us consider this is the surface. Upper surface is one medium, another one lower is the second medium. So, we will consider this is normal to the surface. This is normal to the surface. Now, in this case, we will consider this is angle of incidence. 
and this one is angle of refraction. So, this normal angle of incident and angle of refraction should be in the same plane. Means, it should not go like this. It should not go like this. It should be in the same plane. Means, in this plane. So, this is our first law. That is first law of reflection. That is angle of incident, angle of refraction and normal should lie in the same plane. Let us see what is the second law. Second law says, for example, we have the surface. Then, this is the incident ray. Let us consider the ray is traveling from denser to rarer medium. Now, this will be the original path of ray. We know when ray traveling from denser to rarer medium, it will move away from the normal. So, this is the path of the refracted ray. So, we will say this is I1 first ray and this is R1. Let us consider second incident ray. Suppose second incident ray is like this. Say it is taking angle is I2 and again it is entering in the rarer medium. So, angle of refraction will be more. So, say this is R2. Let us take third case that is this one. We will say this is I3 incident ray and this is again is moving away. This is the original path of this ray. So, it will move away from this. So, we will say this is R3 like this. Now, when we find out ratio that is sin of I1 upon sin of R1, then sin of I2 upon sin of R2, then sin of I3 upon sin of R3. Then we will get a constant value for all these three angles. Means here we will get a constant. Same constant value we will get here. And same constant value we will get here. Means what? Here that constant value is nothing but the refractive index of medium which is denoted by mu. So the second law based on this concept. So, let us write what is the second law. Hence, second law says the ratio of sign of angle of incidence to the sign of angle of refraction is a constant for given beam of light. Hence, we can write sign of I by sign of R, this value is a constant. This law is also called as Snell's law for the refraction. So, this is overall concept of the refraction. So, this is overall concept of refraction of light. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and please subscribe Ikeda.